Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Meter Spaces. I'm your host, Era Ellison, and I have here with me Shohan Zhu, the founder of Meter.io. Um, and in addition to Shohan, we have an exciting guest here today. We have Manuel, who is here to talk about block raising, a project that is live on Meter. Um, and we're really excited to hear about it. So, um, Manuel, welcome. Hey, welcome. hey everyone. Yeah. Thanks to, like, thank you a lot to inviting me to this. Of like, course. I think it's a big opportunity for me um, doing this, uh, I don't know, like growing the community for block raising. And I think this works very well with it. Perfect. Well, we're so happy to have you. Um, and Shohan, thank you for joining as well. Yes, um, thank you, Ara. Yeah. Manuel, before we talk about Block Rising, can you tell us about yourself? So where are you from? What's your background? Just a little bit of context. Sure. Okay. So I'm Manuel. I'm from Colombia. Um, I've been like doing programming, but regular programming for a few years maybe like for five to to four years i i'm not sure about it um i've been developing like several like business ideas i work um with different customers not very big but i've been developing for them and like my last job um the job that i actually have is i'm working for a u.s company uh developing like any kind of requests that they need so i i don't know like any kind of project they have, uh, that's what I do. Um, it's a small company, but that's what what I do. And about the blockchain environment, I met this environment because of uh, Sebastian. I don't know if you remember him. He's the guy who's behind uh, business NFTs. And we met each this other on the... Yeah. Business He's... builders. We did have business builders on Meter Spaces not too long ago, actually. Yeah, so he uh, he's my friend. Like we met each other at the university, and we've been working a few years on different projects, and not on the Web three community, but on like the regular programming. And like I know he had been developing here for a few years in Meter and on Web three, and he introduced me to this opportunity. So that's why I'm here. Uh, I don't have the like big experience on this and Web3 development, but I'm working with Sebastian. Uh, he's like, yeah, teaching me everything about developing like, in a proper way. And he's developing also with me. So like, he wanted to be here, but it was impossible because he had like a trip, I don't know. <laughs> so he's not here, but yeah, like, the team behind Block Rising, it's me and him, like basically. But I'm the guy who is doing, I don't know, like everything about the, about the product that we are giving to the people. Yeah, that's great. I think it's really great that he's uh, inspired you to start working in the space and helping. Um, and that's sort of the organic growth that happens in this new brand new industry, you know. Um, so yeah. I think that's that's awesome. Tell us a little bit then about the actual project and, and what you all are doing. So blog racing is like a very ambitious project. Um, I want to tell you a little bit like how we get to the idea and like the problem we're trying to solve. Uh, me as like as a person, normal person from Colombia, uh, when I was talking to Sebastian like, maybe a year ago and he was telling me everything like about all the wonderful world on the Web3 environment. And I was trying to, yeah, I, I want to invest, uh, but uh, then I find out that it's kind of risky and most of the people is afraid of investing on the Web3 environment. And I am the case also. And I find out also that if you want to invest in something that is more reliable, you may need a lot of money. Maybe, I don't know, like a Ethereum node or a meter node. Uh, it might not be that much money, but someone from Colombia, it's a lot of money but it's hard to invest in something like that. And so I thought that it was like a big bar uh, entry barrier that we went to solve with Block Rising. So that's why we we started Block Rising. Uh, it is a, a decentralized investment platform that works like uh, equity crowdfunding. I don't know if you know what uh, equity crowdfunding is or 
uh, I can explain those. <laughs> so uh, equity crowdfunding is when you, when tons of people or maybe a group of people invest in a project or an idea, and instead of a regular crowdfunding where the people only get the money and I don't know, people, the project gives them something in return, an equity crowdfunding is where you give money to the project and you receive like a, a small percentage of the project. So that's what we do here. And whenever you invest in any project of block racing, you're gonna get your part of it. So you you're going to get your expected revenue from the part of your business or company or project that you're investing in. So that's like a way that we we did to I don't know to mitigate those problems of investing in Web3 environment. And that's what block racing is about. And that's the first part because like if we, I, I'm gonna like talk about it later on uh, about the uh, all the idea of the racing and where we're going on. Yeah, that's great. So it makes investing a little bit more accessible because you can effectively buy a small part of whatever block rising is owning, and then receive a small amount of revenue. And so yeah, and the idea is to invest like in reliable things like. As uh, you can see, the meter nodes that uh, the MTRG is uh, like a relative reliable uh, token. You are mm -hmm. not investing like in many kind of token from, I don't know, a random guy. It's a good token. Uh, so, so, I mean, it's, I don't know. I think it's more, I'm secure investing on it, more secure about it than investing mm -hmm. on, I don't know, in any kind of other project. Got it. Yeah, no, that's great. Are you all, I, forgive me, I should know this, but are you already live or? So we, right now, we did like a, a private pool and we invite some of close friends and even uh, familiar people to invest on it and on the first like meter note. Um, we are checking everything with our systems and everything. And everything seems to be working fine. Uh, we are getting all the revenue that we're expecting. And it's, it's pretty good, to be honest. And we are checking like to how to open it to the public. Because right now, like I was talking to some people in Mirror Squad and they gave us like some like some ideas. So like I think it's it's good to hear another point of view because we are a small team and we need more points of view. And with a few minutes that I talked to them, they gave us a good idea, a very good idea that we're implementing to blog racing. So we were planning to, to launch our first public pool, like maybe this month, but now with the implementations that we're doing, it might be a little bit delayed, but I think this is going to be worth the time because I mean, we're, we're, I don't know, doing something big here. Absolutely. Yeah, no, the concept makes sense and taking the time to be thoughtful is is certainly a good idea. Um, okay, how exciting. Yeah. Sean, any thoughts? I think maybe if we yeah. can see it that way. What, what are the features uh, you're thinking to support in the public pool? So like people can have a understanding of what to look for. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so right now, uh, whenever you buy uh like uh, a piece of the of the project or you invest in the project the money will be like secure for a amount of, uh, for a specific amount of uh, amount of time so let's say like six months and the people will vote to see if the pool will continue or not so that's like we were talking to meter squad people and it might be not like attractive for the investors so what we're doing now and we're implementing now it's an option that if you bought like an, uh, a piece of the project, now you will be able to sell it to another people. And there will be like a, an inside market for each project where you can sell and buy like pieces of the project. Like maybe like a stock market, a small stock market on that, on those projects. And we were doing like, we we're doing it like very, I don't know, the, the mirror squad people gave us a very good idea and we're implementing it. And I believe it's going to be very good when it's going to uh, online. So what's the underlying strategy? The underlying strategy is like uh, you will start up new meter node for every, let's say, 2000 MTRG 
gathered in the pool or like uh... yeah that no no no, no. i mean uh -huh. each pool will have its own node okay. so we will launch we want to do it with the meter node because uh -huh. we believe like it meets certain criteria for us uh that is kind of reliable it's a good investment right now uh because of the 500 nodes uh like advantage mm -hmm. and so each node will have its own pool and we're going to be launching our first public pool i don't know maybe next month oh or okay. soon yeah but each node will have his own pool i see i think you should uh take a look at uh, the liquid staking contracts we yeah. recently did uh actually uh right now we already added the feature that multiple pool can be supported uh, underneath so yeah like i was talking to mm -hmm. sebastian and we were like we know about it mm -hmm. uh we just have to like take a seat and see like how it's working yeah i'm thinking like maybe you can leverage on that infrastructure because uh, we are planning yeah. to open up the underlying uh nodes for supporting the liquid staking pool as well yeah. so in that case for example uh developers and contributors for the uh ecosystem uh we can enroll them to be like that more like reliable, uh, high performance, uh, like validator side. So, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't, I'm not aware if it's, uh, the liquid staking is out right now. I know it's like, uh, it, it will be out, uh, we're doing the final iteration of the audit. So current estimated uh, completion time of the audit is, uh, uh, next Friday. Okay. Yeah, so after gotcha. that, uh, it will be out, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, I know I, I need to talk to Sebastian because he's he's an expert and uh, mm -hmm. I'm not an expert on it yet. And But he's kind of busy with the new game that he's launching. Yeah, yeah, but, I noticed, uh, he's been launching a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's working like crazy on everything. So so we, we need a, a few time for it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I know about this and that's why we're waiting because I know that liquid staking may work for us mm -hmm. on the, yeah, on this kind of pools. Uh, but like, I want to say to everyone, like something, this uh, meter notes is only one of the investments that we're gonna deploy. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna deploy a lot of projects. Like this is, I don't know, the first one, because we believe that it's a good opportunity that we need to take it right now. And uh, the problem is about the, uh, well, we need to check about the uh, the, the liquid staking and everything, but the other opportunities will be open like also soon. And I hope you can, I don't know, see uh, anything on anything of them. And maybe if you like it, you can invest. Yeah, Hello. Yes. definitely. Yeah, maybe you can talk a little bit about other strategies, uh, things like that. Yeah, I mean, like we were talking with Sebastian about the arbitrage bots. Even there are over, I know, like there are a lot of opportunities in Web3. Um, someone that loves like business models. And we have like um, investigated a lot. And we're working right now with some arbitrage bots. We don't know if we're going to be able to deploy them like soon, but we know that they can give a good like. Uh, revenue. Uh, we need to check on it and keep checking. I know it. they are. Yeah, I know you guys are working on like uh, arbitraging bots uh, and also other different things. Yeah, which are, yeah, yeah. Sort so of, and yeah. also the, like what I want to say like uh, what's going on with uh, Blow Racing and while we are pointing our projects, uh, we want this to be like not only for you to invest into business opportunity but instead if you are like a small business or maybe a small project in the future i don't like we need to work a lot on it but in the future you will be able to raise funds uh, from block rising so that's how it's going to be working in the future uh, right now it's going to work with automated business opportunities on the web3 environment but in the future it's going to be kind of different Yeah.
Yes. Is there anything that we can take a look at to sort of visualize? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, like I have right here. Let me share my screen. So I'm sharing my screen over there. I don't know. If... Can you see? Yes, there we go. OK, so this is the Blow Racing website. Uh, right here, like, it's kind of a normal website. But right here, you will find all the pools that we are. Um, like, we have a lot of test pools. And uh, we also have this, pub, um, I'm sorry, a private pool that we have that I was telling you. So right here, this is how it works. Uh, the idea is that you connect your account, uh, your your wallet with, with uh, I forget the name, with MetaMask. So you will connect your wallet and it's as easy that invest right here. So right now I cannot invest on this pool because it's closed already, it's working. Uh, but whenever you were like the pool is open for investors, you will be able to invest or withdraw funding. Also right here, you will find the option to withdraw, withdraw any profit you have. And uh, like if you want to vote for close, like in, a, in the following months. As I was saying, I want to create like the market, the inside market for every pool. And uh, so right here, the idea is to have like a small like, a book order where you will find options to buy or sell the the stocks from the project and you can find also like information about every every pool that is running like right here you can see the rewards they have you can see that to today they have made like uh 25 20 25 meter mtrg that's uh, like a very good revenue and we calculated on a 23.94 uh, return each year so like for this investment is i think it's a very good deal because it's giving a, a reliable token and it's, good, it's giving a good return also you can find like every every transaction that we're doing uh, we inject the money to the to the pool and then everyone is able to take it out and you can track them you can see that everything is is right here you can see from where it's coming and where it's going everything uh, we want to do block racing as transparent as we can, because I really believe that this is the future of investing. And that's how this works. I don't know if I can show you anything else or you have any question about this specifically. Yeah, no, this looks great. Yeah, and like you can see here that I don't have any pool participation here because I, I didn't invest with this uh, account and I don't have like any available profit, but like this is for each person. So uh, if you're an investor, you will have like different information here. But even if I'm not an investor, I can see everything over the pool. So for me, that's very good to see if I can invest on it later on or not. Yeah, looks great. So I guess uh, for this strategy, you guys are like starting new nodes because uh, the 20% uh, APY is for like, running your whole node for- Yeah, for the first one, what we did, uh, like we did a like a business with, with Sebastian and we bought like a part of his node. Uh, it's a very, a very good node and reliable node. And like before launching our own node, we want to to be sure that everything is working. So we want to wait for the liquid staking to be to be launched mm -hmm. and wait for uh, the market. It's kind of a P2P market that we're gonna launch. Uh, but yes, the idea is to launch our very first note in the first, I don't know, next one maybe, or it's gonna be soon. I'm not sure about uh, how long it's gonna take. What time horizon are you imagining people will invest like once they invest how long will they hold if they wanted to take their money out what does that look like so uh by default it's going to be three months that uh you will have a votation every three months 
we I'm not sure we're not sure about how long is gonna be the people investing but that's where we're giving the option to sell it to another person so the people won't have the money like stuck over there and even if we are doing the the liquid staking we can think about anything else so we just need to check how it's going to work specifically and if it's going to work with our our project got it and you said you are doing you opened it up to like friends and family initially just to test the strategy and see how it goes yeah so we got like 26 investors and th those people is the ones that bought like the, the part of the note wow. so they invest a thousand mtrg and uh -huh. they're getting the return mm. That's nice. So and we're checking like if they have everything correct. So they log into the web page, they mm -hmm. take the money out and everything is good for now. And like the idea is to keep tracking everything to believe that the, I don't know, the platform is doing well. And for now, everything is good. And we are very confident about what we did here. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's really great. Yeah. I don't know what else can I show you here. Like we have a roadmap where, about the project, uh -huh. what, what we're expecting to do. Mm. Uh, we're trying to follow it, but it's hard to. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard in the current market and environment. Yeah. 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 Things happen. And do you all yeah. have other projects or initiatives on the horizon for the future? Like once you get this right and you launch it, do you have other things in mind that you'd like to that you'd like to do? uh like on block rising you mean yeah block rising or just the next i'm not sure i i can't really read the roadmap but if there was anything after launch mm, i mean uh this is, is gonna be a long process uh after we launch uh we want to keep growing and keep developing we have big plans ahead for block rising like uh, we will need to develop a lot a lot and like make our own community like as soon as we we launch our first portal, the job is gonna be starting. So we're gonna keep working and working, <laughs> getting yeah. more and more people because I don't think this is gonna end soon. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, as I said, I have big plans ahead. I I think like uh, like my me as a person, I believe that decentralization is the future of the world, and this is helping me to. And helping the world to build it and i want to do my part so that that's what i'm doing here my mm -hmm. part of the change and i don't know where it's gonna end but we're gonna keep working and keep working so as, as soon as we're gonna launch our first pool we're gonna be looking for the second pool third pool everything is gonna launch that's awesome yeah i love okay. the passion it's a really exciting yeah. project it really it really is We'll have to, you'll have to keep us apprised of the timeline then. And when it becomes available to the public, we would like to obviously tell our community. Um, and we can repost this episode so that they can kind of see, you know, what the purpose is. Um, or if there are, is there a place they can reach out with questions, you know, when the time is right, we can do that too. So we'll yeah, just make like, sure they have the information they need. See, yeah, and that's perfect because... Like, as I say, like, I talked like maybe two minutes with someone in Mirror Squad and it changed a lot my point of view. So I'm willing to, to I don't know, to hear more points of view. Yeah, like if someone that is watching at this is willing to talk to me, I will be more than happy. You have my Telegram over there on the webpage and on my Twitter. And I'm, I just want to hear options, ideas. I want this to be like a project for everyone uh like if you have an idea or if you need something else to invest on it and i can think that it's a good idea we can put it like into the project i want to hear people i want to i don't know grow a community w with this and everyone that is willing to to be on it it's more than invited that's great yeah, yeah absolutely um Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm, we're so excited to keep in touch and see how, see how, uh, yeah, really you know, appreciate the effort so far. Yeah. Yeah. No, and thank you for inviting me. Okay. I really appreciate this. 
and I will be in touch with you anytime. Like I'm right here. I'm gonna mm-hmm. stay for a long time working on this. And yeah, just keep on touch with Blog Rising because it's gonna be we're gonna launch some pretty good stuff, and you have to keep in touch. Yeah, looking <laughs> forward to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll continue to share so that the community knows. And um, yeah, thank you so much. So really exciting. Can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You are in Tiki Shohan. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you, Shohan. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Thanks for everyone listening. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.